What's up guys and welcome to another Mortal Kombat 1 video and today is really special. They finally updated the store and the first things they put in to the store was the Deadly Alliance alternate outfit for Scorpion and it's amazing but that's not all. I was also able to afford Shang Tsung thanks to the account leveling and pre-ordering the digital edition as well as the physical edition because I had issues of getting the game in on time. So that meant more Dragon Coins and I was able to get both of those. So really excited about that. I'm going to do the normal six opponents that I usually do. I'm not going to move up to Warrior. I'm going to play with Scorpion, of course, the Deadly Alliance outfit and Mataro which might be surprising to some, but I almost have him to rank 15, so I'm going to go ahead and include him in this playthrough. Plus, I have this awesome skin that Mataro is wearing, and I tend to actually use Mataro in comparison to other cameos. Ah, oh, the skin looks so sick. I love it. So, Scorpion, um... I don't know if I even have him past rank one yet. This is pretty much just the same combinations they've had since Deadly Alliance, to tell you the truth. I mean, that's been the same uh, combination forever, and this is new. It's a little spinning of the spear, and I'm sort of adding that in. But Scorpion comes pretty natural. I just kind of fly around and press buttons, or as many would say, spam. And I'm able to pretty much figure out pretty fast how I'm going to use Scorpion. It's a very predictable nature. It may even cost me a match or two. Hopefully I'll get through this pretty smoothly. That right there. There we go. That's the combo I was trying to do. Sometimes I get flipped in my brain. Instead of triangle square, I go square triangle. I, I've noticed I flip a lot of combos these days in my brain. I struggle with that a lot as I get older. So it becomes tougher to play these games. I mean, I'm already, you know, the old school mentality of just hit it and if it works, keep hitting it. And then I can't even remember how to do that. So bogged down. Uh, you know, take this brutality. I wanted to start off with a second fatality, but you know, we'll just go with the brutality. Scorpion wins. So, yep, yeah, I didn't even have him at rank two yet. Still rank one, but now I have rank one, and I have co new color palette for Scorpion as well as seasonal credits. So there's that. That's going to make for such an awesome thumbnail, too. Ah, there I am, messing up the combo again. And Rain is not somebody you want to be messing up the combo. Oh, that's nice. I think that was back toward X. To do that more often. Again, I just kind of I try out new things here and there with Scorpion. This is how I've used Scorpion, literally, I guess, really since Deadly Alliance. I mean, Deadly Alliance for me is a game that, for those of you who have watched me for a long time, know I'm not a, really a fan of playing against the AI. Now, I have a lot of memories I've mentioned um, playing with friends and even my sister back in the day with 2000. What was that? One, I want to say. So, 2002, Deadly Alliance came out. And we. We would have people come over. We spent hours on that game. She always played as Lee May, always played as Scorpion. And this outfit was one of them. So, you know, it's, it was a big throwback to the good times of Deadly Alliance, not the uh, bad times. Like recently on the channel when I played Deadly Alliance and I played as characters that probably would explain why I was having such a horrible time for the most part against the AI, trying to play with the likes of drama. Know, but still, I've, I've never been a fan of the AI in that game, but um, two things about that game is, of course, my memories 
from playing with family and friends, and that Immortal song. It was about Quan Chi and Scorpion and had the music video to it. Man, this outfit brings back so many memories. And I gotta stop talking because it's costing me here. I'm talking while I play. Scorpion should be one of the characters I can do it with, but still. I seem to really mess up when I talk and play Mortal Kombat at the same time. Finish you. His second fatality. And I don't know anything about his fatality, so I just have pulled up the page here that tells me what they are. Of course, I have not unlocked this yet. Fatality. Scorpion wins. Apparently, that was Killer Clones from the Nether Realm, and that is back toward back triangle at any distance. I wish all the fatalities were like that, any distance. I'm gonna go for his first fatality next. Baraka, really, with Kano. This is a combination I've faced a couple of times, and, and it seems to be um, one that's Pretty annoying. And you're not good at the game, like I'm not. Anyway. Baraka seems like a character that can pull out some really good combos. I mean, I know I've seen some of his combos. Just that he's pulled out just on medium is insane. This is where I might have to get a little bit more quiet here as I play. Oh yeah, you know what? I forgot about that. Ooh, there. I don't know this combo, but if you're trying to focus on not getting hit by Baraka, you might slip up the same move instead of combo. Here he goes. works. Actually, jumping did work there because I would have been nailed by a laser, but Kano likely. Alright, first fatality. Oh, never mind, I'm going to do uh, Toros. Seeing how I got the two fatalities flipped around. So yeah, there's the cameo fatality. I knew right off the bat when Scorpion stepped back he wasn't about to do a fatality and I wrote them, or have them pulled up here. And I am not on Scorpion's fatality. Let me scroll to it, okay. I pulling victory. Brain Blast didn't sound like something Scorpion would do. I'm not too sure about this page. Alright, I should have been trying to mess with this page and fight this fight at the same time, because it's costing me here. Oh yeah. Well, I got distracted because Fatality supposedly has R1 in it, and I'm not sure of that, but I guess I'll find out. So here's another fa Fatal Blow. I was getting really distracted. Looking back and forth between, this, uh, between the screen and my phone. that up too. If you do this combo to pull them in, then do this combo to lead into this little twirl. You would 
never would work online, but it definitely works against the AI. And the only thing is, is I'm going to have to fight Scorpion after this. It's a mirror match, and he's one of the tougher ones to face. All right. Yeah, I wasn't sure, like I said, I wasn't sure about this fatality. It's, it says down toward back R1. I don't remember anybody having R1 fatalities outside of the cameos. Uh, cameos, so... Not sure what happened there. Uh, just move on. Check the menu. Oh, this is Scorpion. Yeah, this is going to be... I always struggle against Scorpion for some reason. Oh, and he has an alternate version of this outfit on, so that's pretty awesome. And he's, yeah, he is just relentless on the spear. You know, it's when I have matches like this versus the AI, I no longer feel bad about spamming because Scorpion will just, he spams a spear on you. So it's like, get him before he gets you again. Thank you, Guitaro. Let's break that up. doing now let me go go ahead hit me let me get the fatal blow please go like this there we go well that's a third time i've had to use a fatal blow come on i'm playing a scorpion what am i doing i know sucking it up but nonetheless i got out of that somehow I could just repeat that without issue. And it seems like I'd be able to do that and talk. I've done it so much. Just in this playthrough. Uh oh. We're going to see this again. We're going to see another fatal blow from Scorpion with Mataro. I feel like I've seen this way too much for one playthrough. Start getting. Oh god. I don't know what I'm doing again. Just take an uppercut, something. There we go. There we go. Oh crap, what was a fatality? Uh, down toward back R1, it said. Did... Yeah, that's just not it. Yeah, whatever. I forgot to go in the menu. And then I panicked. And I could have gone in the menu still. And I just panicked. And I looked down. Down toward back, R1 is actually what it says, but I still don't think that's, that input is correct. It's on the Push Square website. Well, it's from the Push Square website. I have screenshotted it now. I'm swapping the two, between the two, Scorpion and Mataro, and that's where I messed up earlier. I s scrolled over to a screenshot of Mataro's fatality, and I cropped it right down to just the fatality inputs names with the vitality inputs. Put them in the order I wanted to perform them. But anyway, I think pushsquare.com has something wrong with that. I'm not gonna check it for this gameplay. I don't like pausing and interrupting. Gameplay that at all. I know I've, ex I've expressed that tons of times. I sacrificed it during the stress test and early on when I was playing this game, but I don't like to do it through my tower gameplays. I like to already have this stuff kind of written down and figured out, and unfortunately I have something off the website, off a website that was inputted wrong. So, sorry I didn't get that first fatality in. Yeah, after a while, Scorpion, he is a character you can talk and kind of at least for me, I can talk and play with and start to get pretty much what I'm going to do in my head. Well, I say that and I start getting whipped up on by Shang Tsung. Alright, 
I haven't seen Scorpion's ending yet. I want to see it. Let's get this ended right here. Yes. Enhanced it. Didn't do anything different. Just, I guess, it was more powerful. Damn, look at Mataro go. It's nice to actually see him move around. Beat someone up. mobility he had in Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. No sooner had Titan Shang Tsung been defeated than Bi Han and his loyalists hunted us down. Outnumbered, we fled to Japan. There we sought refuge from an old family friend. As children, we played together. But Harumi Shirai was a woman now. The head of her clan. Her strength, beauty, and intellect awed me. Also incensed by Bihan's betrayal, Harumi agreed to help me forge a new clan, one that would stand against him and defend Earthrealm. Her aid proved invaluable, and as time went on, we grew closer. To honor Harumi, and pay respects to my new bride. I named the clan after her, calling it the Shirai Ryu. Now the battle against my brother begins in earnest. The Shirai Ryu won't rest until Bihan is defeated and the Lin Kuei's honor restored. So, there you have it. That is Scorpion's ending. Not a fan of that ending, and really, I shouldn't say Scorpion's ending, because it's not Hanzo. And that is one thing for me that just out of this whole story. Look, seeing Raiden as a human, Liu Kang as a god, was perfect. And even better was Johnny Cage and Kenshi bonding, having this friendship. It was so much better than Johnny going after Sonya, in my opinion. I just... Loved it. It's perfect. Seeing Melina actually be a daughter of Sindel, not a clone, a daughter, and not a clone of Katana. A daughter with a relationship, being able to fight Ermac and bring Jared out of Ermac, which I've wanted to see for so long. So there's so many great things done in this story, but having Bihan's brother play Scorpion was... Mm, not for me. I guess at this point it's a moniker now. Kind of like 007 is just a moniker for an agent. So now Scorpion just is a moniker in the Lin Kuei. I guess the only way to give Hanzo peace is to not have Hanzo born at all. But nonetheless, um, that is the playthrough for Scorpion. I love that outfit. Again, it does bring back lots of memory of inviting friends over. Me and my sister used to invite people over all the time. And her favorite was Lee May. My favorite was Scorpion. I use that alternate outfit from Deadly Alliance a lot. So to see it with these graphics, to see it, it's just at all. To see it at all again, it's it's amazing. And I loved making a video on it. So it now gives me a reason to play as Scorpion, definitely. Because I haven't been too sure of it. Even after the Invasions outfit unlocked, I was like, that's pretty cool. That's pretty much a Hanzo skin. You know, and this is too, because this skin was obviously, you know, put out at a time when it still was Hanzo. For me, anyway, the way I mentally look at it, I guess, to give me motivation that that's a Hanzo skin. But still, when he talks during the gameplay, it's, it's not. But I guess I got to drop that at some point because it's not going to change. It's still a version of Scorpion or you could say of a Scorpion in the game. And... You know what? It was pretty fun playthrough, and definitely at some point we'll probably even do another because he has tons of awesome outfits in this game. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that playthrough, and there's going to be more towers to come. I'm going to continue to do plenty of towers here on the PS5, and there's still plenty of Switch videos to come about how messed up that version is, if you guys are enjoying that. And I'll see you in the next Mortal Kombat video. Thanks for watching.